Hello everyone, I'm Silasmaster1 and welcome back to another episode of Crash Bank of the Wrath of Cortex. Last episode we finished a level 8 Banzai Banzai in level 9, that sinking feeling, uh, with no deaths I believe. I don't know why that's important, but in this episode we're going to be going through level 10 H2O No, which is one of the best puns I've seen in this game, and the boss, which we'll see the name of sooner than later. So let's get it going. Gonna hang me out to dry before yeah, I get through it. Like, I, these guys are pretty funny. At least he's using jokes, and like Rocco's just like, I'm gonna whoop your ass. 1v1 me. No scopes only. Oh, I didn't get the life. Oh god. So, uh, I like how uh, every level in this game, at I think so at least, except with maybe two Coco levels. That are coming up in the next orb rooms are all uh, puns or alliteration, which is pretty cool. Actually, to all two words, I guess, because those, those levels are only one word. All two word uh, levels are either puns or alliteration, and it's pretty cool. All oh, the safe. I plan on not dying, and this is pretty hard. There's nothing here really gives audio cues other than this, and I can't even hear it because of my setup right now. Please, okay. Yeah, I like how like this is by far my favorite puns. The H two O no. Yeah. Yeah, uh, be very careful that you don't miss a box in this level. While playing through this uh, earlier, I missed a box. And it uh, wasn't very pleasant, to say the least. A checkpoint, sweet. I'm cool now. Uh, I missed a box in the water section. Because once you finish, there's actually a platforming section later. And if you miss that section, uh, you're, you're done. Or if you miss a box in this section. Uh, okay, so nice. That actually a thing. I I never like noticed some of these because of the way the camera works. It's so annoying. Look at this fish. He looks like he's like high on something. Look at his eyes. The red fish. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss anything. Uh, yeah, anyway, uh, we leave the car, or the, the car, yes, the car. We leave the underwater car, and when we enter into this area, the platform area, uh, which you're about to see is one of my favorite areas in the game. Also, the music's really cool. The music in this game is really cool. I, like, now that I'm listening to it, like, each clip of every level, carefully, I realize that's really cool. Anyway, this takes a mechanic from my favorite music level, favorite levels in Crash 2. The sewer levels where this stuff shocks you if you step on it. Rather than every now and then it has sends a sh signal, it's permanently gonna damage you. So you're gonna have to try and like jump on these boxes. You're gonna have to try and jump on these boxes to Okay. Jump on the boxes to survive and make it through the area. It's really nice. Pretty challenging too. Oh, Whoa, okay, wait, I need to see that for myself. If that's the case. Okay, never mind. I thought there was like another nitro behind this one and it was just there to troll you in case you try to jump through that. But luckily, there was nothing. Alright. I was. You know, for some reason, I stopped talking because I was going to say, I'm going to try and do this part without taking any damage. And we didn't take damage yet. It's pretty cool. Oh, we didn't, we didn't take damage yet. We didn't die yet. Oh man. Yeah, I thought that was gonna happen. Okay. Let's try not die. Why? Why do I say such things? Let's try and not die and die, die immediately. Let's try and like die. Okay, flawless. Sweet. I'm very bad at listening to my to myself. Is that it? Up there? Body slam. Oh. Yay. Ooh. Bonus round. The bonus round has a lot of boxes, I think. 43. Hmm. It's actually a decent number. Already three nitros. Alright. Annoying sound you hear in the background is just uh, some enemies in the back. 
or above us. Because the bonus rounds actually take place in the level itself. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I used to do it like that when I had an Aku Aku mask, so I could just finish it faster. Just eat through the Aku Aku mask, because I never needed it, but... Well, I said I didn't want to lose a life, and technically, we didn't lose a life. So, yeah. I'm still in this. To win it. I hate being patient. I'm dead. I don't know. I'm... I have a problem where I rush levels really hard, and now I'm dying too much, so I'm gonna, like, not rush it just so we can get it done quickly. But the more I die, the more video time there is. Or am I wrong? I mean, you'll always click to the boss if you go to the warp room and click on the boss. Alright. Okay. Now we step on this, and then wait here. You could probably wait down there without dying. Alright. Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Something weird just happened, because I think the music reset that my frame stopped. I'm leaving. That, 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 was, that was the last, like, that was the only hard part of this bonus round. This bonus round is actually giving me trouble. Weird. I didn't expect it to give me this much trouble. Okay. You don't actually have to do these boxes first. But I like to do it first. Just for the sake of it. Alright. So I don't need to be an idiot, I can just bounce on this box. All right? Yeah. We actually that was the last jump that I had to actually make. Wow. Okay. Oh, we're so close. We just needed one more six, thanks to the 67. Okay. These fish are weird, they actually do nothing, they just splash. Magic corp, 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 corp. No! No! Okay. Whew. Right. What? Wait, did those bouncy boxes just... Were they bouncy boxes, or am I blind? They just broke immediately. Well, that was weird. I'm kidding, I didn't actually miss the crystal, don't worry. Thought I missed the crystal, didn't ya? Oh, would you look at that, it's the end of the map. Didn't miss anything? No, we did not. Thank God. Crystal collected and gem collected, and now with all levels locked down for us, there is one thing I need to check. That's right, you can still visit any level in other warp rooms. However, you have to fight uh, the boss in this warp room. So let's go to drain damage. Ah! Get over here, you little orange sponge! Because we're gonna ring you out. I appreciate these jokes a lot. So this boss, I'm I already died. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take him actually, you know what, no, let's throw shit. So, as you can see over that was a blue thing that you had to jump over. Uh, and then this green thing you have to like, crouch, and then you get to him and spin him. You cannot actually jump and then crouch, because I don't, I wanna, I don't wanna die. And when he does that, make sure you're in the air. I honestly have no idea what it does. And he's done! That was... Very easy. Okay then. We beat the boss. Yay. <laughs> what? I thought that was going to take like, at least three times as much time than it did. Oh, I, oh, I could have shown it off. Mm, Alright, I, I, I accidentally just left without showing it off. But the power we collected was the double jump. So now we have... Uh, now we have two powers. The first power is you hold Z to sneak. And the second one is you press X twice to double jump. Press X in midair basically to jump. That means when you're falling down, you can actually jump. For example, if you just fall off a ledge. Normally, you wouldn't be able to do that. But uh, before we go any further, cutscene. You are making a mockery of me in front of my minions. Not only have you defeated the elemental masks, but you are still collecting those worthless crystals. 
Well, you've gotten this far, and this is as far as you're gonna get. Pyro the Fire Elemental will see to that. Oh, Cortex, come on! I don't need some flaming mask to help me! I can take Crash on by myself! Crunch, you will do as I say. You and Pyro will vanquish Crash and his annoying friends. Okay. If these masks are as powerful as they seem to be, then again, we don't really need Crunch, do we? And why can't they just destroy this place if... Or the Wumpa Island or whatever Coco was at if these guys can cause an ice age? Oh, rip. I spoiled the sword room. No, I'm kidding. Uh, well, we'll be, um... Well, well, we completed H2 Uno and Drain Damage. See? Fun? Alliteration. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've been Silence Master 1. Next episode, we'll be going to Warp Room 3. And see you guys next time.